Okay, in this lesson we're going to discuss multiplying polynomials. Okay, so take note that we're going to multiply polynomials with the same base. We're just going to copy the base then add the exponents. Okay? First example, so we have here x raised to 3 times the quantity 3xy, okay? So as you can observe, we have x in both factors. So applying the law of exponent, we're going to have the outcome 3x raised to 1 plus 3 plus y. So again, we have here, uh, x here, it has an exponent of 1 and the other factor x raised to 3 we have the exponent 3 so we are just going to add 1 so 1 plus 3 that's the exponent of the x okay and then we have your dy so simplify further so we'll be having their 3x raised to 4 y okay so that would be the product of x raised to 3 times the quantity 3xy. Okay? Second example. So we have there x times the quantity x squared minus 2. Okay, so in, th in this case, we're just going to distribute the x and the binomial. Okay? So this is called binomial. So x squared minus 2. So we're going to distribute the x in each term. Okay? So the outcome. Okay? We have here x squared multiplied to the x minus 2 multiplied to the x. Okay? So we're just going to simplify. So x, again, we're going to add the exponents if we have the same base. Okay? So we're going to have 2 plus 1 minus 2 times x is 2x. Okay? So simplify further, so we'll be having there x, 2 plus 1 is 3, so x raised to 3 minus 2x. So that would be the product of x times the quantity x uh, squared minus 2. Okay, so how about if we're going to multiply x minus 2 from x plus 1? So again, remember that this is from, so meaning we're going to have x plus 1 times x minus 2, okay? So in this, in this case, we're just going to distribute term by term, okay? So we have here x times x, x times x as is first, and then we have there x times 2, and then the product of 1 and x and the product of 1 and negative 2. Okay? So basically, we applied the method, what we call the FOIL method. Okay? So F stands for the first term. So we have first term, x, and then we have the x. And next, we have the outer term, which is x, and then the negative 2 there. Okay, and then we have the inner term, we have 1 times x, okay, and we have last term, so we'll be having there 1 and negative 2, okay, so that is called the FOIL method. Okay, so now we're going to simplify, so we'll be having there x squared, so x times x is x squared minus, okay, so negative times positive is negative. Okay, so x times 2 is, we have 2x, and then positive 1 times positive x is positive 1x, or simply x, 2. That would be negative 2, okay? So now, as you can observe, we have similar term in the middle. Okay, so we'll be having there negative 2x plus 1x, so simplify or combine that one, we'll be having there, okay, so negative 1x. So that is x squared 
And then again, negative 2x plus 1x is negative 1x, or simply negative x minus 2, okay? So that would be the product.